Topic 4.3, the Colombian Exchange. Imagine a world without chocolate, tomatoes, or even the horses galloping across the vast plains. Sounds incomplete, doesn't it? Yet for a significant part of human history, such a world existed. Then came a monumental shift, the Columbian Exchange. You, as AP World History students, probably already know a bit about the voyages of Christopher Columbus and the Age of Exploration. However, many students often find it challenging to grasp the full impact of this exchange, seeing it as just an exchange of goods, when in reality, it transforms civilizations. Understanding the Columbian Exchange isn't just about learning which food or animals moved where. It's about grasping the profound social, economic, and environmental shifts that shaped our modern world. And let me tell you this, if you master this concept, not only will you be better equipped for the AP test, but you'll also have a more profound understanding of global interconnectedness. We'll dive deep into the causes of the Columbian Exchange, examine its impact on both the Eastern and Western hemispheres, and highlight the key commodities exchanged. By the end of this lesson, you'll see why the Columbian Exchange stands as one of history's defining moments. And after this, we'll investigate the consequences these exchanges had on global power dynamics. The primary cause of the Columbian Exchange was European exploration, initiated by voyages such as those of Christopher Columbus in search of new trade routes and territories. The discovery of the Americas paved the way for sustained contact between the Eastern and Western hemispheres. Effects on the Western Hemisphere, disease. Europe brought with it disease vectors, including mosquitoes and rats. Devastating diseases like smallpox, measles, and malaria spread rapidly. Indigenous populations, having no prior exposure, suffered greatly. In many areas, these diseases reduced the native population drastically. Domesticated animals and plants. Europeans introduced horses, pigs, and cattle to the Americas. The horse particularly transformed Native American societies, especially on the Great Plains, by enhancing their mobility and changing their ways of warfare and hunting. Furthermore, Afro-Eurasian fruit trees, grains, sugar, and other foods found new homes in the Americas. But with these introductions came the exploitation of lands. Europeans started plantations, used forced labor, often indigenous or later African slaves, to grow cash crops like sugar for export. Foods from Africa and the Old World. As European powers expanded the slave trade, Africans brought with them okra and rice. Okra found its way into dishes across the Americas, especially in the southern regions, while rice became a staple in places like South Carolina. Effects on the Eastern Hemisphere. American foods. Foods like potatoes, tomatoes, and maize or corn from the Americas became staple crops in parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa. These foods not only enriched diets, but also played a role in population growth. Therefore, the Eastern Hemisphere saw a nutritional benefit from the influx of diverse American food crops. With all these exchanges, one might think the world became a melting pot of shared prosperity. However, the reality was more complex. While the Columbian Exchange brought about immense growth and development, it also led to the exploitation of lands and people, environmental changes, and power imbalances that continue to shape our world today. Understanding this not only helps us appreciate the bittersweet legacy of the Columbian Exchange, but also reminds us of the responsibilities we bear in a globalized world. That statue from earlier, the United States tore it down in 1958, but I think it signals that Columbus was pretty scary.